How's life in the tribe guys, Turex is here, and today we are here with another Wi-Fi battle here in Sun and Moon, going against Magic Marky, his link's will be down below, so go check it out. And he is rocking out with that Alakazam, probably going to help me hold that Megasone, he's got the Tapule, the Magirna, the Mimikyu, the Nihiligo, it's probably going to be his lead, that Galissapod, and this team is very, very scary, it's got a lot of threats, it's a very offensive team, I'm, it's a very hyper offensive team, it's been, it's been a cool team to battle with my hyper bulk team, but unfortunately that's not what we're going to be able to do. As you can see, we're rocking out the the Licking Rock, the Lead Licking Rock, the Gartana, the Tapu Fini, the Scarf. I'm pretty sure it's Scarf Top. I don't remember. I'm about to see in a minute. Um, the Minior and the M Mirror Coat Magnum, which I absolutely love. It'll do numbers to this team. I can already tell that Tapu Lele is not going to appreciate catching that Mirror Coat. That Alkazam isn't. That Magirna definitely isn't. So I do like, I definitely like Magnum in this team. But we're going to lead with our our um. Actually, do we even need rocks? It'll be nice for a glue supply, but that's about it. So we'll lead with our Acel Rocker. Acel Rockin' Rockin' Out with a Lickin' Croc. Which has honestly become my favorite Gen 7 Mons, if I'm being real with you guys. I do like it a lot. And is my 3DS muted? My capture? No, it's not. Okay, good. I just want to make sure, because I'm, I'm listening to it through headphones through my actual 3DS. I want to make sure it wasn't. Muted, so yeah, boy, and the the sound hack doesn't work anymore, so I have to, we have to actually listen to in-game music. Unfortunately, I do like to put in my remixes, but looks like we have to wait a little bit longer for now for that to happen. Now, now I feel like we're just gonna exchange rocks here, which I am okay with. I don't have a problem with it. I could also taunt him, but that risk that runs the risk of him. I'm um, going for attacking move and putting us in a bad position, so I kind of don't want to taunt him at the same time. So I'm just gonna put my rocks. I'm just gonna put my rocks. We're gonna play it safe. Get those rocks up for that nah, for that Galissapod. Not gonna appreciate it coming in, to potentially dying to in one shot from a Thunderbolt from Magnezone. So we'll see here. I didn't even write down his team. I did not even write down his team. I'm upset with myself, and he is also not scarfed. That's good to know. He's not a scarf ni Hilego. He just sets up those rocks. So we could have just taunted him. We could have just taunted him there, but it's all right. We don't have a way to get rid of rocks, so that's gonna be annoying later on in the battle. But we're just gonna switch out here. We don't have the EQ. There's no reason to stay in. Um. At this point, who do we really want to send in here? I think I, I I like Chomp here. I do like the Scarf Chomp here. I'm just trying to think if you had anyone that was immune to Earthquake. I do not think you did this while you write down your team so that you know for sure, but I, I'm like 82 and a half percent positive. There's no one that is immune to Earthquake. And if there is, we can just switch out and we're okay. We can just switch out and we're okay. So let's see in Cap and Crunch. Alright, and what's he gonna go for here? He's just gonna go for the Power Gym. That's fine by me. I really wish I was rocking out with EQ instead of Stone Edge on that, on the Licking Rock, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. If you're gonna go into that Golisopod, which you probably are, I kind of want to click EQ. But or not EQ. I kind of click Outrage, but that type of Lele is still there, so that's 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 just a no go. So we're just gonna click EQ. No reason not to. No reason not to. If he's if he's sashed and he ice beams me right here, then that's gonna be a problem. And we're gonna lose our Cap and Crunch, which I'm not a huge fan of doing right now. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Now that I think about it, that might happen. So yeah, boy. Yeah, 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 boy. Let's see what happens. I haven't battled, like, I actually have a Wi Fi battle in very, very long, so let's hope this doesn't come back to bite me. And he has, yeah, he just sent some ghost apostles, which is what I figured he would do. But we might be able to get off the emergency exit after two EQs, maybe even after one. We'll see. Yeah, no, you are too fat for that. You are way too fat for that. It's not very effective. No damage taken. Alright, so you're gonna go for that. I don't know what the move's called, but it's like, it's like first impression, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. We didn't go to Minior, but then rocks. Rocks are a thing. Ah, uh, are we rough skin? Are we rough skin? I kind of want to stay in to take this hit. We are rough skin. So, emergency exit might force them out after the rough skin damage, so I'm just saying to click Earthquake again. I think we can take any hit this thing wants to throw away. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this. Glizzapod's a problem. I need to get as low as possible on HP. The first impression is going to do 
a lot of damage. This is a lot more than I would have liked, but it is gonna bring out. It is gonna pop the first impression or er, emergency exit. He's gonna get up out of here, big dogs, and he's gonna send in who? Who is coming in to catch this EQ? Who is gonna come in on the EQ? Because no one's gonna appreciate it. No one's appreciating the EQ. Not one person is. So we are. I think we're in a. He doesn't need Lego. Just a second off. So that's pretty dope. I'm definitely a fan of that. Take that rock sandwich, break yourself, and get Nihil Lego out of here. Get Nihil Lego out of here. Good day, sir. So that is one Pokemon down the drain. That has a very strong special attack or two, so I'm pretty hyped about that. I am pretty hyped about that. But at this point, if he sends that Galusabot back in, he might die. After rocks, um, rough skin damage, and EQ, he has the potential to be killed here. Which I'm a fan of, but we could also go into, um, we're going to hold on to Captain Crunch here and send in a Cell Rock. Or we send in Tapu Fini. And we have Defog. Ooh, we do have Hazard Removal. I did not realize I had Hazard Removal. That's nice. Alright, and his Rock Setter is gone. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. His Hazard Setter is gone. And I can just defog away the rocks. Ooh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that play. But I kind of also like this Kartana play where we, just, where we just come in on the first impression. That is going to be neutral damage though, so I don't know how I feel about that actually. I think I like the type of Finny play. I think I like the type of Finny play more than anything else. So we're going to go to the type of Finny. We're going to defog away the rocks. Then we're going to reset them at a later date. As we do have Messy Surge up, which halves the damage of Dragon type attacks, so it prevents status, and it's just it's just a good day all around. And I don't think he's revealed a healing item, so yeah, he does not have healing. Um, if he wants to switch out here, I kind of don't want to defog in case he stays in. I'd rather just kill off this thing with a Moonblast, and we can click defog at a later date. I don't know why this thing's named Final. I I, I Pick this team up off Smogon, so I don't really know why what the names are. I might change names around later on. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I like this team though. I like this team. I do like it. It's pretty nice. And the question is Moonblast should kill. This thing has no special defense. So yeah, Malo the Golosopod and the Nihilego are both gone, which is I love saying Nihilego. It's so fun to say. Nihilego, Nihilego, Nihilego. I love saying it, dude. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, with that thing out of the picture, if he sends the type of Lele here, um, he does. He sends in the Magirna, actually, so we're just going to defog away these rocks. We are just going to defog away the rocks real quick. And we do have Haze. We are also rocking out the Haze on final. So if he gets a Soul Heart boost, we can just switch in, in type of Finny and click Haze, and that Soul Heart is gone. Which is very nice, and neither if he goes for a floor cannon here, going for the nuke, um, I'm not gonna be a fan of that, and, and that is definitely a viable thing to happen. So I'm not too happy about that. But the but the rocks are gone. He goes for the hidden power. Is HP ice? I don't know. What, I don't know what HP that was. It could be HP fire. No, what it be HP fire? Because we were water type. It could be a lot. Of, it could be HP. It wouldn't be HP fair. That would make sense. It could be HP. No, it would be HP steel. Uh, I don't know what H hidden power that is, but I think it was predicting to switch out that turn. So part of me wants to switch out this turn, but I don't really have a mon that I want to switch in with. So I'm just I'm gonna scout to see what kind of mon this is. I'm gonna click surf real quick. I'm gonna click surf real quick. And I want to see. I want to see if he reveals a calm mines. Because if he does, then we can just haze it away. We can just reveal the haze to make him for that psychological advantage. That does nothing. Okay. So that tells me you are definitely AV. I think you're the AV set. It's not definite, but it's, it's a pretty good possibility. We could just trap this thing with the, with switching into Garchomp, and I almost did it. I was extremely close to tra to switching into Garchomp that play, but I didn't want to risk letting it die to a fl to an attack, and then the Lele comes in. Oh, boy. Okay. 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 This is not good. With Lele in here... Ah, uh, with Lele, I think Final has to be defeated here. I think we need to let Final go. Um, I don't have a switch in. It's just, there's no switch in for this thing. Uh, but... 
Stainless can take care of it. I have, a, I have good faith in Stainless. So we need to let Typo Fini go down here. We need to let the Typo Fini go down. He goes for the Psychic. That's good. You lock yourself in the Psychic. That's what I would like. That's what I want you to do. You're going to take out Final. Which is fine. Just imagine if Typo Lele got Beast Boost. Imagine that. Just imagine that. We're going to click Mirror Coat. We are just going to click the Mirror Coat. No reason not to. We can take out this Typo Fini in one blow. We can take out the type of Finny in one blow with the with the mirror coat. So we're gonna do it. If he switches out and he knows about the mirror coat, that's fine too. I'm not too worried about it. Now the thing about it, I probably should have flash cannon, but it's all right. I'd rather play safe than sorry. Even though flash cannon probably would kill a type of Lele. No, no, we're not. We're not specs. There's no way it would kill. There's no way. We're salt vest. And I have seen um, damage um, from a salt vest uh, magnet zone. It does. Uh, Psycho does do about 65, 70 percent. I think from so down, if I remember right. Not 100 percent sure, but it does do a lot of damage. So this type of lele is definitely a problem. I would like to to take care of it this turn, and not to deal with the rest of the battle. That would be the ultimate scenario. It would be beautiful. I'd love to see that happen. Well, we'll see. He does withdraw, so that's fine. We would have went for the volt switch here. That'd been clutch. He sends him Benig. Which is this thing? Okay, and we go for the mirror coat. You, I reveal it. Unfortunately, I'd rather not have revealed it now. But is this thing of the H is HP ground? Ooh, that's what you're rocking out with. Okay, I figured it out. Now I'm gonna test my theory real quick. We're gonna send a Starman. We're gonna send a Starman here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna test my theory. Let's see if you're rocking out with the HP ground. Oh, a flash cannon would have been clutch right there. A flash cannon would have been so clutch right there. But it's fine. He goes for the HP. It does. It is HP ground. All right. Good. 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 I'm glad I know what HP it is. But we're not gonna appreciate a. We're not gonna appreciate a volt switch. So we're gonna shell smash either way. Cause we need to outspeed that type of lele and potentially kill it. So after the shell smash. If we were smart, we could just doubled right there into. Um, chomp. But it's fine. No, really. Actually, actually, actually. To be honest, ooh, flash cannon. I don't know if we're gonna live that. I don't know if we're living that. We are shields down right now, though. Nah, no, not a chance. And we just gave him the star. Oh, we just gave him the fuck. We just gave him soul heart. We might have just lost. We might have just lost. Oh boy. Oh boy. And where'd my stylus go? That was a mistake. That was a grave, grave mistake. That might just cost us a battle, if I'm being real with you guys. That might have just cost us a battle. But how much HP is he at? That's another question. Yeah, I don't think you die to a EQ, but we have to go for it. That's stab from a guard chomp. You might die. That is stab from a guard chomp. You might die. Let's see, though. Let's see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We don't have to have any anymore to prevent the, to just haze it away, which is really unfortunate, but... Ah, even if even if Garchomp goes down here after the EQ, even if Garchomp goes down after this EQ, a flash cannon from a Magazone will kill this thing. A flash cannon from Magazone should kill this thing. But if he switches out here, that's beautiful. We're going for the EQ. We have no reason not to click EQ here. And honestly, I just keep clicking EQ until this Garchomp is fainted. I think that's the play here. I think that's the play here, honestly. I think that's definitely the play. 100% of the time. He has a soul heart, so I don't know if he's going to switch out or not. If he does switch out, he's probably calcing it out right now to see if he lives the hit. If he does switch out, damage on that type of Lele is beautiful. Damage on Alkazam is beautiful. Damage on whoever he's switch in is beautiful. I love damage. Damage is, Free damage is the best damage. We're also Scarf, so we're going to kill whoever comes in. It's not like anyone on the team is going to live two EQs after that Galusa bot's down. Hmm. Let's see, he is with Dross. That's, that's great. That's the best case scenario. He sent in Stuff Pika. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Okay. I forgot about this thing. We do Buzzes of Disguise, which is nice. No Disguise is nice, so that doesn't give him the free Swords Dance. And if I'm being real, I would rather this thing catch... Uh, I'd rather this thing not get the free Swords Dance. And I just, I'm just going to pressure it. I'm just going to put some pressure on with the EQ here. And we're going to see if he still gets greedy and tries to go for the sword dance. If he goes for the 
He does go for the SD. Oh my, he does go for the SD. Okay. Do you live? You do live. You died a rock. You do. You do die a rough skin though. He's. He misses. Oh! 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 my God, that was crucial. Oh my goodness, that miss was. That miss is huge. That miss was so huge. That miss is so huge. Does Shadow Sneak even kill from at our range? I don't think it does. Yeah, it doesn't even do. It does nothing. All right. So stuff Pika that mimic you is gone. A huge threat to our team is defeated. That is beautiful. We are going to use the earthquake. It's going to pop that. I think that reveals our scarf, but I don't care at that point. At this point, that's fine. Our scarf being revealed at this point is not an issue. Who he does send in is the issue, though. Who he does send in is the issue. If that type of lele comes in, I just want damage. I just want damage. I just want damage. I don't care. He is in the type of lele. That's, that's honestly our best case scenario. Because I get damage off of this thing. This thing scarfed, we'll know right now. But EQ is not, I don't think an EQ will kill the type of lady, but we'll, we'll, we will find out. We are scarfed to max speed, so we do have to speed this thing 100% of the time. But let's see here. Let's see here what he wants to go for. Or she. I don't know if it's he or she. His name is Magic Mark on Twitter, but he's a female character, so I don't know. Dang, let's see what they're going to go for. I do like the EQ here. I do love the EQ here. It's a great decision. Or I'm, not, I'm trying to just like gas myself up. I just think it's the best play. I really like the play. I'm really confident in the play, is what I'm trying to say. We'll see, because I can't switch anything in on type of Lele. That's just, you don't switch in on type of Lele. That's just, that's just, that's just, you, you know that. There's no, the only, there is literally no counter for Lele. You just have to hope you can outspeed and hit it hard. And I hope it doesn't decimate your entire team. That's really the only way to beat a type of Lele. And we do do enough damage that a Celerac will kill. That's what I like to see. Have we seen any, do we see any leftovers? We do not, so I'm going to assume you're Scarfed. I'm just going to assume you're Scarfed. No reason not to assume at this point. And we're also Sash. We are also, we are also Sash um, 10 acres. So we, we kill this thing 100% of the time. We do kill this thing 100% of the time. So we just click a Cell Rock here. I'm not going to risk it. I'm not doing anything. We're just going to click in a Cell Rock. Just going to click a Cell Rock. And hopefully kill this type of Lele. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully kill this type of Lele. Stab. We have a lot of attack. Please. Oh no! I forgot about Psychic Terrain! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Did I just cost myself the battle? Did I just cost myself this battle by making that mistake? Stone Edge. Stone Edge. I could have Stone Edge. I thought about Stone Edge anyway, but he's scarfed and he's gonna kill us. Oh no. Oh no. I just cost us the battle by making that misplay. Okay. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Paper cuts still have full HP. Paper cuts can still come in and sweep. It really can. Just not against this type of Lele. Just not against the Lele. Because it's scarfed. And it hits like a fucking truck. But knowing that he's scarfed is good to know. Because that means that Psychic isn't going to do as much as spec damage would. So it's only going to do about 50% to Stainless right here. And we just click Flash Cannon and kill this thing. We just click Flash Cannon and we kill this thing. If we would have done this earlier in the battle, we might have still have, actually our guards won't be dead either way, but he does decimate our team because I make the mistake of forgetting my psychic surge. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. I love AV fat, fat, fat magazine. It's so beautiful. It's so so beautiful. We should have switched this thing in turn one. We should have switched this thing in. And held on to to our licking croc. But that was a mistake. I am kinda rushed to have him battle in a few weeks, so. No blame to place except for my own, and I don't think Miracle's gonna work in this thing because it is Magic Guard, I'm gonna assume. So, we're just gonna click Flash Cannon again. We're just clicking Flash Cannon again. If he goes for Focus Blast, it's probably gonna knock us out, but he's Mega. Okay, so he's Mega. So, I could have just gone for the Miracle. Oh boy, Mega Kazam. Oh boy. Oh boy, that means what are you tracing? What are you tracing? Magnet Pole. Okay, so he locked me in. That's fine. You, you missed. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. Thank you for missing that. We have to pray for the hacks now. We have to pray for hacks at this point. We have to pray for the hacks. We do, we do, we do need to pray for hacks. Can you miss two? <laughs> can you miss two so we can win this battle? Ah, <clears throat> no, you can't. How fat is Magnus Zone? I thought, I honestly thought we might live that. It looked like we are going to live that. It really did look like we might have lived that. But all we have left now is paper cuts. Question is, do we outspeed? 
question is, do we outspeed? At this point, that is the question. What's his last Pokemon after this? I don't know. We just click Night Slash and hope you outspeed. We just click Night Slash and hope you outspeed. We don't. Okay, that is a dead. That is a dead Kartana. Ah, man. Man, 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 man. Ah, that's so frustrating. The way I messed up. The Stone Edge probably cost us a battle. Not clicking Stone Edge probably cost us a battle. But, GG to you, Mark. Mark, good battle, good battle. Way, way to get back into it. I appreciate it. Um, be sure to check him out. His links are down below. But anyways, guys, if you guys want to see more Wi-Fi battles, be sure to follow on Twitter and hit me up when I look for them because they're hard to find. I cannot find any battles for the life of me. But anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this Wi-Fi battle. I'm going to go out of here. Bye.